Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. If you run the image of the sculpture of Ramses II through a computer, it turns out that it is perfectly symmetrical to within one millimeter. In this case, the official version says that the work on the statues took decades, with a hammer and chisel. But the human eye is not perfect, and it is simply physically impossible to achieve such an exact result with a hand too. Modern people are very dependent on electricity, in spite of its cost and the negative impact of its generation on the environment. But what if electricity were available to everyone and its generation were much easier? The Swiss village of Linden is much luckier than most people, electricity is more accessible to them, and generation is easier. For more than 40 years, they have been living off a generator created by Paul Bauman. It consists of disks that rotate using the forces of electrostatic interaction. The pioneering device has not gained widespread popularity to the delight of companies that produce electricity by conservative methods. Most of Australia is enclosed by a rabbit-proof fence, which closes the way to the interior of the continent. However, with the development of aerial photography, it has become much easier to see what's going on inside the closed continent. Rex Gilroy, in 1975, discovered a structure suspiciously resembling a pyramid on the outskirts of the town of Gympie. Officials quickly oriented themselves and issued a version that it was a farm structure that had been built by a Swiss florist in the late 1880s. The mythical florist was fruitful, three similar pyramidal structures were found, at a distance of 1,600 kilometers from each other, next to which were found ancient artifacts. Preachers Swiss are so uninteresting that access to them and research is prohibited. Something these bands reminded of politics of China. Though, probably the pyramids were built by the scientists themselves to distract attention from what can be really there. Why is this fence so high? The stele of the pharaoh Cheops is rarely exhibited in museums, but often lies in the storerooms. The whole reason is in the text on the stele. The Sphinx stood before Cheops, the Great Pyramids too, Cheops himself built only the Temple of Isis, which in size and technology is strongly inferior to both the Pyramids and the Sphinx. Such is the degradation of technology, of which the hieroglyphs are carved in stone. Official historians do not recognize this translation of the inscriptions, but could not provide their own sensible version. As soon as independent Egyptologists and translators offer to help the officials with the translation, the stele disappears from the expositions at once. In the Boston Journal of Chemistry, 1890, there are photographs of human bones larger than usual. Mr. Lapauge's remarkable find was the three pieces of bone shown in the engraving, which must have belonged to some prehistoric giant of extraordinary size. On the left is part of the thigh bone, and on the right is part of the tibia or tibia. In the middle is the humerus or upper arm bone, from the same ancient cemetery, but of normal size. Judging the height of this Neolithic giant by the ratio of skeletal parts, he must have been about 3.5 meters tall. 
The bones of the giant were examined at the University of Montpelier, where it was recognized that they belonged to a member of a very high race. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Ivan Zavalin published the history of the city of Moscow in 1905, on behalf of the Municipal Duma. It contains engravings of different masters with views of the capital city, and one of them contains interesting sketches. The copy of the watercolor drawing by Guarengi, original 18th century, shows underground ruins on the left. There are ruined arched vaults that have had time to overgrow bushes, and a large stoner section of engraved wall. The costumes of the armed couple at the stone are also intriguing. All those around them are dressed in camisoles and hats, these fellows are dressed in some sort of toga, helmets, and holding a shield. What kind of antique animators are these walking by the ruins? Fernand Magellan was the first person in history to circumnavigate the world, and from there, he brought back the story of the giant he encountered, and even captured him on a map. The giant was at least four meters tall, and a grown man could walk between his legs. That's why the Spaniards called the natives giants, Patagueo in Spanish, respectively, and the natives were called Patagoons, and the land itself has been called Patagonia ever since. Amateur historian, Matt Sibson, has made the bold assumption that there are hidden rooms beneath the Egyptian Sphinx. He believes that directly beneath the sculpture are several secret rooms that are connected to the pyramids. Sibson stated that the Sphinx may be connected to the pyramids by an extensive network of rooms and tunnels. He suggested that the lost door might be a way to get inside the pyramids. He refers to documents that were written from an 1837 expedition by Egyptologist Howard Weiss. He writes in his book that he became aware that French engineers were conducting extensive excavations in front of the Sphinx. They managed to get to the secret door, but then the excavation was stopped. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.